channel. I am Tina from Makeup Wear Our Rules, and today we're going to create another easy hairstyle. Today we're going to do the elegant side bun hairstyle. The first thing we're going to do is use some hair wax or hairspray to give the hairstyle more texture, but if your hair is too dirty, then you should be using a dry shampoo instead. And then if you're doing this for a fancy occasion, give the back of your crown some light teasing, but if you're doing this for every day, then just skip it, I would say. And now I'm going to part my hair into four sections so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But don't bother making these sections at home yourself to save time. Because once you know what goes where, you'll be able to do this without all this sectioning. What we're going to do today is make a low bun before wrapping four sections of hair around it. It's really simple. First, I'm going to section out the sides like this and back of the crown as well. And we're going to split these three sections into four later, but first, we're going to make a low bun. Create your bun about here, and you can do any type of bun you like. Sock bun, donut bun, messy bun, any kind of bun. If you have curls, you can also do a quick back combing with your fingers to create a soft teeth look before twisting your pony into a low bun. Don't try to do a side bun yourself. Do a middle bun because the twist will turn this into a side bun naturally. Okay, next, we're going to take the sides and twist it lightly towards the bun. And if you like romantic hairstyles, then leave out some hair around your face. For this hairstyle, we're going to lightly twist all the sections towards the middle of our head. So just remember, all the sections are going to be twisted towards the center. And right before we pin them up, we're going to tug on the edges of the twist to make it more voluminous. Now undo the top, we're going to split these in half and also twist them towards the bun. Leave out some hair around your face to soften up the updo or you can put it all up if you want the classic look. And it's important that you twist these crown sections with the hair pulled back already or you're going to end up with a weird bump. So what I mean by that is if you start twisting your hair with your hands in front of your face, what's going to end up happening is by the time you pull the hair back, you're going to end up with this weird gap. So pull the hair back and start twisting. You guys see my soft part in the back? That's okay because once you run your fingers through it, it'll loosen up and it'll disappear. Now we're going to repeat on the other side and again, see me twist my hair with my hair already pulled back. Don't start twisting from the front. That's what I'm trying to say. And in case you guys didn't catch this, all my sections are being crisscrossed. So left crown section, we're going to wrap it clockwise and right crown section, we wrap it counterclockwise. When I, oh yeah, we could fly so high. So once you made your basic updo, then you can go back and pull out more pieces to make it even messier. I personally wear it even messier than this because I don't do all this sectioning. I just put it all up. I hope you like today's super easy hairstyle. If you try it, be sure to share it with me on Instagram. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cute hair tutorials. And I'll see you guys again next week. Have an amazing weekend, everyone. I love you guys. Bye. So grab somebody, do -si -do, cause I